What's up, Gemini? It's your girl Isabella Terra Tarot back at it again and hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. I am currently not accepting any more personals in this time. Thank you so much to everybody who has come out to support your girl. I am currently in casting mode. So if you need spiritual work, um, please make sure you send, um, email me my Etsy account before you you purchase something, please, uh, because, uh, y'all, I, I have to schedule this, I have to schedule, I want to be able to give you the most energy possible, so you can get what it is that you're wanting, I can't just, I'm not just going to throw y'all in together and do a whole bunch of different works at one time, I ain't gonna do you like that, um, so, but just, just know, there is an option for immediate work, but we, you know, we try to keep it chill over here. You know, don't rush spirit. I'm not trying to rush spirit. <laughs> I am not. Okay, but I'm just letting you know. Um, please message me first before you purchase. You're working. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this read, you guys. Okay, so I keep hearing pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. So... <laughs> Let's get in here and see what that's about. Okay, Spirit, come through for the Gemini. What do they need to know from this time? What do they need to be aware of? What are we supposed to be paying attention to? What does the Gemini need to pay attention to in this time? We got Be Iconic fell out. And this one's just standing up. Do it first. Okay, so basically what I'm getting, growth and glory. Okay, just do it. Get like Nike. I feel like y'all are probably wearing a lot of Nike brand, like focusing on brand, like I heard focusing on brand and branding yourself. Okay. All right. All right. We've also got ride your own wave. I feel like that goes along with that staying in your own lane that we kept getting. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm nappy today. I'm nappy, but we, we're in here. So, um, I, I looked down at it. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out here looking like that. Be iconic. Do it first. Get your shit together, basically. All right? Spirit is saying, um, focus on your image in this time. Do it first. Put your shit out there. For some of you, you need to be patenting your shit, okay? For some of you, you've got this idea that you have put out, okay? And you haven't, you haven't, what is it? L LLC, copywriting shit. So there's something about copywriting, patents. Like, you need to be securing your bag in this time. All right, Spirit is definitely coming through saying you have a winning idea. You're in the process of putting it out there. They say, get like Nike, just do it. Okay, we've got be yourself, ride your own wave. I feel like you may be tempted to possibly copy um, someone in this time or somebody that you see doing well. I feel like the way that I'm looking at this, like you see these nails right here. It's like, it doesn't even seem like it's her hand. It's almost like a demonic presence pulling this person back. I feel like you may be tempted in this time to possibly copy or do something it's something that's just not you, okay? Spirit's saying don't do it. Don't do it. Be yourself. I feel like your authentic self or some of you feel that you aren't worthy enough. So you feel like you've got to spoof off of someone else or to spin off of someone else or in some way take something that's not necessarily your spirit saying don't do it. I feel like you're going to be tempted in this time to do something in a way that's belittling of yourself. Okay, Spirit said don't do it. You've got the winning, you've got the key. <laughs> I heard you got the keys, 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 keys. You've got the keys for success in this time, okay? I feel like there may be someone who has been in your ear trying to get you to do something a certain way or to make you, there's some kind of manipulation around you um, to try to make you feel smaller or less than. You are being told to go above and look beyond in this time. And I've been seeing 77 and we got 7777 here. 77, seven, lots of sevens. All right. I feel like you are seeing 77 everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Um, and I also feel like, uh, y'all, Midas Touch. I was doing money magnet oils today, y'all. Midas Touch. I feel like... You're about to have a, a, a huge inflow come into you. Spirit is saying, you, some of you are going to be tempted to 
to throw this money. Um, don't throw it away is also what I heard. So for some of you, you're going to, I heard something about frivol frivolous spending as well. Some of you need to pay attention to where your money's going. All right. Pay attention. Shit. There we go again. Pay attention. Okay. So they're talking about your finances. Pay attention to your finances. There may be a bill that gets away from you in this time because you're so focused on luxury or what feels good in the moment. Okay. Spirit is saying, look long term. Um, be ready for growth. Growth and glory comes to those who have an eye for like looking long distance, looking to the future. Don't necessarily just be, um, is it only seeing what's in front of you? Only like you're, 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 it's almost like I feel like you may be, um, zoomed in, like I'm just seeing a zoomed in lens on something that's right here, right now. Okay, there's something about, there's something that's going to tempt you right here, right now for some kind of gratification. Spirit's saying, okay, if you do this, are you going to be able to handle the shit that's coming right after the fact? Okay, Spirit is wanting you to be able to be your authentic self to come through with it. But Spirit is also saying, don't be <laughs> Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. There is some kind of temptation that is coming for you right now um, because you're definitely in the energy, like your authentic self, you're focusing and you're trying to move forward in this time. Okay. Some of you are being told to get off your ass and just do it. Like y'all have been thinking about doing something for a long time, but it's like somebody's been in your ear trying to manipulate you to not do, be your authentic self, try to put you down to make you feel small. Um, spirit saying, don't listen to that shit. I feel like there was somebody that needed to be, um, something or someone needed to be evacuated from your spirit. For some of you, isn't an elephant's ear toxic? Like, I'm looking at this growth and glory. There is somebody toxic to your growth, okay? For some of you, you need to be drinking more milk or getting more vitamin D. Um, because I feel like if you bit an elephant ear, like, the, the, the thing is, if you bite an elephant ear, I feel like it's, like, either your mouth burns something and, like, the only way to put it out is with milk. All right? Some of you need to be incorporating more milk, more dairy into your diet, Okay? For some of you, look, I'm like, this is a general. For some of you, you need more, and for some of you, you need less. For those of you who refuse to drink milk, you need to be adding that shit in. Or, you know, somehow getting that dairy, that vitamin D. For those of you who are doing too much, Spirit is saying, put the chocolate milk down, bitch. <laughs> back, back away from the fridge. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyways, so I feel like you are definitely coming into a time that you are definitely shining. You're being seen. Um, Spirit is saying there is about to be a temptation um, for some kind of spending is really what it looks like. It's like you need, uh, for some of you, I feel like you are also investing in the way that you're looking. Um, I'm seeing scissors. So I'm like, some of y'all are doing like possibly doing a drastic cut or some of you may possibly just be doing something different with your it's like something about your outward outward appearance is changing. For some of you, I feel like you may be um, trying to change shit up. And whatever this change is that you're trying to make is very expensive. Um, you need to be mindful of this and just be smart with it. Um, because I feel like there's something about your money getting away from you. Um, some kind of, you know, toxic spending energies is really what I'm getting. Toxic spending energies. And it's almost like it's something repetitive. It's like when you get it in, you blow it. All right. Mm, Why wow, we got this here? Here we go. Yep. Them gains. You can't see it. Them gains are real, you guys. Um, you are coming into like a very prosperous time in your life for some of you didn't you still need to be focusing on cutting and clearing out certain toxic energies because I feel like there might have been several um I get that people are just a attracted to your shine like I'm seeing like when I say your shine I'm seeing like the emoji okay with like the four little stars around it or the three little stars around it i feel like you are the star and people sense that and they want a piece of it 
you what song is that lifestyle of the rich and famous you want a piece of me is that britney piece of me piece of me is a song that i just started hearing in the background <coughs> mm. oh, i got choked yeah somebody's wanting a piece of you in this time and i feel like they may try to give you some kind of offer that you can't refuse spirit is trying to um definitely get a hold of you and letting you know there is something that is going to tempt you that's coming up there is an offer that is coming up that is going to be put on the table that you are not going to want to refuse but i feel like you need to check the fine lines and the like the 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 i said the fine lines <laughs> you need to check the details you need to check the fine print you need to focus stay focused and pay attention for those of you who are about to be signing some kind of documents pay attention to what you're signing bitch because i feel like somebody's trying to get that ass somebody look I, and when i said that i saw one 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 yeah somebody's trying to get that ass all right so i feel like you may have a tendency to pay attention to what's right in front of you and you know in being this fun loving energy um people are trying to link themselves to you because you have clout like they're trying to like cl clout chasing is what i'm getting you are supposed to be doing you and not necessarily allowing this person to get their hooks in you because i feel like somebody's coming up trying to get their hooks in you in this time some of you are being forced to separate yourself. I heard outcast. Some of you are forced to, or actually, I feel like this is somebody that you're outcast from. Ride your own wave. Is it like I'm getting something about black sheep? So you might have been the black sheep of the family. Outcast, very unique. Okay, you have very unique tastes. <clears throat> Uh, somebody who had cast you out is going to be trying to reach back out to you all right because of some kind of level of success that you've achieved they're either seeing about it or hearing about it it's like you had done something that they had cast they had cast stones I like casting stones I keep getting casting <clears throat> cast stones at you for something that you had been doing and now they're wanting a piece of it. They're wanting a piece of you. All right. So I feel like there is some kind of somebody who you had been estranged from or like you ain't been in contact with this person. I feel like you felt the energy and you separated yourself and you did what you needed to do for yourself. This person's about to be reaching back out to you <clears throat> with the claws, with the swiftness. I see a mo. Is it mobile? I'm seeing mobile on her shirt, and it makes me think T-Mobile. This person may have T-Mobile, and that service is shit, okay? Um, I feel like Spirit is saying <clears throat> there is something they're going to try to tempt you with that is shit, okay? Um, I feel like the communication is spotty with this. Whatever they're trying to get you to, um, whatever they're trying to get you with, it's spotty. Spirit is saying be careful, okay? Be careful, because I feel like they're going to be trying to tempt you with a certain thing, but not give you all the facts. <clears throat> it's somebody that you are at a distance with. And we've got hating ass hussy. And I keep having to clear my throat. And I feel like, <clears throat> geez, like, they don't want me speaking on this shit. They don't want you to know. Like, this person is going to come so slick, yo. Like, they're about to come so slick. And think that they're like, they might have actually gotten over on you if you didn't know it was coming. But I'm telling, I'm out here telling their business, okay? Somebody's about to try to tempt you, y'all. <clears throat> Somebody that you don't even deal with, they're about to try to tempt you. It's because, like, you are authentic. Like, you stepped out. You did something for you because you wanted to. And, I, I'm, and I'm not, he's not doing this, but I'm seeing like, shh, like, keep quiet, Okay, um, I feel like there is some kind of abundance that's going to be coming in that you need to keep on the low. <clears throat> Definitely. Because there's somebody who's about to be trying to, I'm getting some kind of greed energy coming in. Somebody who has completely different view set than you. 
Somebody who is complete, like, I mean, that y'all see things completely differently. This person's about to come in and ask for a handout. They're asking for something. They're trying to get something. You are being told to clear this person out of your energy, to cut them out. <clears throat> there is going to be a situation that does happen in the distant future where I feel like this person is going to show their true colors with this hating ass hussy. They're definitely going to show their true colors, student. It's like this person is going to act like they friend of me, dude. Okay, hating ass hussy, friend of me, and student. This person is going to be reaching out to you, acting like they want to collab. Okay. They're going to act like they want, you know, to learn something from you. But they only want to learn so they can talk shit about your ass, okay? They want to learn from you so they can run and tell somebody. Like, I feel like this person's going to, like, it's somebody that you may actually um, think is a friend that is not a friend. You need to be, like, really, really looking into that shit. I feel like this person has very manipulative tactics. It's like getting their claws in you. You may separate yourself from this person for a certain amount of time and then they always come back with some kind of tempting um conversation or tempt you with some gossip or tempt you with something, you know. A listening ear is a running mouth. What? Anyway, <clears throat> Spirit saying, you know who this person is. You know how you need to respond to this person. They may have Gemini in their chart. They may be an air sign or have air lock qualities, okay? I feel like this person is actually really jealous of any kind of relationship that you have or the way that you can just go out and, and make shit happen, okay? Like, very jealous. Very jealous, Okay, you're starting to see this person differently. But it's like, I feel like you don't got time for it. I feel like your main focus right now is your career, your your forward movement. For some of you, it's traveling. Um, I definitely feel like some of you are psychic as fuck, though. Like, I feel like you're, like, having a lot of deja vu, putting things together. I also get this energy of you actually coming into finding out who one of your gods are. I feel like um, a feminine energy is going to be making herself known to you. And she is going to be basically letting you know all the shit that you, you know, you, you second guessed yourself on was true. Like this person who you've cut out or, or stepped away from who is trying to come and get their claws back and trying to tempt you with something. You've always known who this person was, but it's like they would say things to try to um, appear differently to you. They try to make you perceive them differently, but it's like, this is somebody who is just, you're about to see that this person ain't your friend. This person, you might, student, you may have grown up with this person. You may have gone to school with this person. You may have hung out after school with this person. Or, you know, like I feel like there's some kind of serious, either a serious bond with this person or somebody that you could have been like really good friends with. All right. I feel like you are finding out that this person is not your friend. Like y'all have completely different views on shit. I feel like you are definitely getting clear. I feel like this there is a, an ancestor or spirit guide who has been watching things behind the scene, has been telling you shit that you didn't want to hear. They've been telling you shit that you just refused to hear about this person. Okay? The same person who's been running and telling you the gossip has also been gossiping about you. All right? And I feel like you're going to hear about this. Your ancestors have been trying to put you on to game that you didn't want to hear. And now you're starting to accept certain situations and cut certain people out that you never thought you'd cut out or you didn't want to. There's some kind of codependence here. Okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. codependence 
you didn't want to cut this person out. I feel like there is going to be some kind of conversation that takes place where this person may become a little defensive um, because you're kind of calling on some shit. They're going to try to talk them, like talk you out of how you feel or talk you out of what you're actually perceiving. Your ancestor has been telling you, giving you accurate messages, okay? Like, it's almost like this person, they want, it's like, t t they want to tee, t you know, whip you, laugh, uh, talk shit, but it's like, they actually laugh more at your inconveniences. Pay attention. Pay attention. You're about to find out somebody who you thought was so close was, was all, look, the lawnmower, really? I'm not even the same, really? this now I'm gonna have to stitch this shit in that did me dirty out here y'all I said that they don't do me dirty but I feel like really you coming back sorry yet again anyway so I feel like you are definitely getting some messages coming in but it's like you, this person was in your life for a reason or a season, but you've outgrown an individual. They don't want you to outgrow them. I feel like they may lash out because you are outgrowing them. But it's like cut, <clears throat> cut off game strong, Gemini. You need to remain strong in your beliefs. There are some people that don't need to be um, welcomed into your home. They do, they do not need to maintain a spot at your table because they are not there for you. It's like they're there to see what you have, to talk about what you have. And don't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay? Loyalty is a big deal. And I feel like you're about to find out how disloyal this person who you might have grown up with or have dealt with for a long amount of time who you've been trying to hold on to so bad. Like you, you're realizing you're seeing things differently. It's like you have gone through some kind of evolution, y'all. You've gone through some kind of evolution. You're seeing things clearly and I feel like you're starting to listen to your spirit guides. You're listening to the way that you're feeling and they're, it's an accurate representation. All right, y'all. I feel like that's the message that I've got. Go ahead and hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye.